What's up YouTube? My name's Stu, this is Super Unboxing. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, yes, it is that time again. Um, as always, it's great to have you here. If it is your first time here, or you've not got round to subscribing yet, uh, then you really should consider clicking on that subscribe button uh, for more unboxing videos uh, just like this one. Uh, Funko Pops, um, subscription boxes, all that sort of stuff. Some great content uh, that you'll really enjoy if you're into unboxing videos. And also um, click on your notification bell so you're notified when those videos are released. Awesome. Right, moving away from uh, the uh, monthly subscription boxes and the Funko Pops uh, today for today's video. Um, don't worry, they'll be back again soon. And back onto a Marvel Legends series figure. As you can see here, it's uh, Thing from Fantastic Four. I should apologise first, really, that this took so long to actually get up onto the channel. I've had this figure for quite a while, actually. I've been so many other boxes to get through. It just sort of got pushed to uh, one side, uh, sort of gone to the back of the queue. Uh, it's a figure I've really wanted to show off, but I've just not got round to it. So apologies for that. It should have been w done weeks ago, but I know there's probably thousands of people who've already reviewed this and shown it off on, on YouTube, but I hope you'll still enjoy it. I hope you still get a kick out of watching the, the review on my channel. But uh, enough of that. Let's uh, get hold of him here and uh, give you a close-up look of the box. And here he is. Marvel Legends series, usual uh, Marvel Legends series boxes there. Fantastic Four logo on the top. Details and all the extra bits and pieces inside there. I will obviously go into that in more detail once he's out of the box. Uh, Fantastic Four, Marvel's uh, thing. Hasbro down there as well. Uh, got the box art on the sides, the same on both sides. And the uh, pose on the back there. We've got a bit of a, uh, a statement here, what's it say? An impressive, boulder-like exterior. Grants thing exceptional strength and durability and even the rockiest of battles. Oh yes, I did just do that. The rockiest of battles. Awesome. <laughs> so that's the back of the box on there. Looks like an absolutely fantastic figure, has to be said. So let's get thing out of his box and give you guys a close-up look. Okay, so uh, here we are with a close-up. Before we go on to the actual figure. These are like the actual accessories that you can swap out on on the thing figure. We get two different heads. Uh, we've got two like open palmed uh, hands and two fists. You get this head here. Got the uh, quick pronounced brow sticking out there. The underbite of the jaw sticking out there as well. Very nice touch with all the uh, different size rocks and boulders and everything on his head. Looks very cool. Uh, very easy to get those off. Also get this one here, which I think is more, more of an angry, angry thing face uh, with the teeth and uh, you see his like blue eyes on there as well. That's nicely done. I think this one's a, more of my favourite than that one. A bit more of a mean and moody look. Uh, he looks quite uh, depressed and sad, which is probably quite accurate. But uh, I think for poses and stuff, I tend to prefer the angry looking one. Like I said here, we've got the uh, open palms here. We get two of these. Nice touch with the um, like the joints here. As you can see, we've actually got the indentations and like the actual. They've tried to carry on the rocks onto the actual joints, uh, which you don't always see on these figures. So that's got a nice touch. And also the same again on, on the fists. You can see there, uh, the actual rocks continue onto the joint, which is very very good. Uh, very good attention to detail, so uh, they're very nice. So let's get back onto the actual figure. Uh, so here he is, look, um, definitely not looking himself. So let's just get these uh, bits and pieces back on here so you can show, I can show you uh, how they go back on. So again, that's quite easy to snap that back onto there. Same with the hands, fairly easy to get these back on. There we go, clicks in there. Same with the fist, there we go. So very easy to go on and off. I have to say that this is an absolutely fantastic figure. As soon as you get, get this out of the box, I mean, it's just like a, a real wow figure. Uh, Hasbro done an absolutely phenomenal job on this. Everything about it, I mean, the, the sculpt was absolutely phenomenal. You can see there, close up, I mean, all of these rocks and everything on here. I just love the way that different shapes, different sizes, it uh, doesn't look like there's any like repeating of the patterns or anything like that. Everything just seems to be uh, randomised in there, which makes it look fantastic. It sort of really adds to the um, 
as the effect, as the uh, boulder effect on, on the on his body. You can even see like here, let's making out of the uh, like the pecs up here, uh, and even down here, it sort of, almost sort of looks like the start of like a six pack, uh, but it's not like in a straight line or anything. It's all jagged edges uh, and sort of sticking out. So it sort of it really really looks the part on there. And um, again on the side here, like the start of, a, uh, of the biceps and everything. Everything just blends in really really well. You can see that the shorts, uh, the blue color actually m matches up really well with the um, uh, Fantastic Four uh, outfits that they have on. Uh, it's actually a decent color blue, good match for that. Uh, I love the way all these, um, like the stretching of the shorts uh, across <laughs> across his legs here. Although you do sort of tend to think that maybe you should have some sort of indentation of the rocks from underneath here, rather than just the stretch marks on the um, shorts, but. Uh, if you move on to the back here, you can see the same thing again around the legs, but you can actually sort of make out some rocks through his uh, butt area there and stretching across his backside. So a very rocky butt on there, but that looks very cool. And as I said, I mean the attention to detail on here is just uh, fantastic. Uh, this is definitely one of my favourite Marvel Legend figures. Colour is just fantastic. I absolutely love these sort of like a dark brown uh, wash in between the rocks on here. Sort of really brings out the effect of the actual uh, rocks on top here, so that looks amazing. As I say, Hasbro have done a fantastic job. It's very, very difficult to actually pick any holes into this figure, but yeah, that is absolutely phenomenal. As I said before, I've gone for the uh, this head on here with the teeth showing. Definitely my preferred one out of the two. Prefer like the mean and me moody look on there. So yeah, that is a very, very nice figure. Let's move on to the articulation. So you can see with the head on here, it does move uh, up and down on there. Obviously the back of the head there is stopping it from moving up uh, too far. Let's get that on the camera. So it's not too too bad. If you take this off here, you can see where the joint is on there. I actually think maybe they could have had that bit further back, cut into the into the back a little bit further down so we could have got uh, the joint a bit further up because it doesn't tend to move uh, very much at all, but I mean, that's only a minor thing. So as I say, he will move up and down. There is a little bit of side to side movement, but not a huge amount. So you can move him up to about that much. It's not really an awful lot. He's not going to be able to stare up into the air too much. The arms come out uh, as far as this. So I say, if I get his arms out, uh, they do swivel all the way around. There we go. There's unfortunately no swivel at the bicep, which is a little bit of a shame. If there's one thing you could maybe nitpick on, it would be that, but. Uh, that's only a minor thing. Only a single jointed elbow, so you can only bend his arms up that much. I mean, there's not an awful lot of give there. There's such bulky uh, elbows and everything around here. You can't really do too much with those. Obviously, we've got the joint at the wrist there. It turns all the way around as well, so that's decent. We've got a swivel at the uh, waist area. I've got the torso here, very decent crunch there, up and down. Also turns side to side like that as well. So moving down, we have the legs can come out as far as that. And again from the side here, you can sort of come up. To, that is as far as his leg will go up. The back you can't really go at all, so it won't go out that far. Uh, it's a very well hidden swivel uh, just under the sh line of the shorts there. Also, we actually do have a double jointed knee, so that is a very nice touch. So, it will certainly help posing him into some different positions on there. So, that's a really, really nice touch that I've done that because some of these other bigger figures have been quite restrictive, uh, which is the single jointed knee. So, that is a really nice touch. Uh, decent movement at the ankle there with the joint up and down, and also we can get some side to side movement. And it can rock backs and forwards there with the ankle rockers. So that's very decent at the bottom there. If you want to pose him and everything, you can obviously get him using those double jointed knees there. You can get him into some quite decent positions if you want to do that. So that is pretty cool. I like that. Definitely like the addition of the double jointed knees for such a big figure. That's a very nice touch. Uh, it would have been nice maybe if um, the arms could have come across a bit further. If we could have got this fist into the open palm of the hand there, that would have been quite a nice touch. Uh, but unfortunately it's quite restrictive, we can't actually get into that pose, but 
Uh, plenty of other poses and everything we could get. I think I'll probably keep one of the open palm hands in there rather than just the two fists. So, uh, I mean, such a decent sized figure. I mean, the posability on this is fantastic. You can really get him to stand up in some decent uh, poses. So that is very, very cool. I really like this figure a lot. I mean, overall, Hasbro have done an absolutely phenomenal job on this figure. The sculpt is fantastic. The way everything's been done on here, the attention to detail uh, with the rocks and everything on there, there's no sort of copying of patterns and everything. Everything looks unique and different. Really helps to bring out the uh, realism of the figure. Uh, the double jointed knees for the posability of it is fantastic as well, and the shorts. Uh, everything about him is absolutely fantastic. I so said the only thing is slightly missing maybe is the bicep swivel on there would have helped uh, helped on having that on there as well. But that's, that's only a minor point. Everything else is there on this figure for a Marvel Legends figure. Definitely one of my favourites as a thing figure. Definitely one of my favourites. I mean, this is going to look fantastic on display. I struggle to think how Hasbro really could improve too much on this. I love the actual colour of it. Uh, I love the wash of it. Everything about this just screams fantastic, and I absolutely love it. As you can see, um, my thing measures about um, seven and a half inches, or I say, uh, which is obviously above the national average. <laughs> so about yeah, about seven and a half inches. Apologies for that joke. It wasn't funny. Um, yeah, it's about seven and a half inches. So it's a decent size. So this has been a thing, and uh, what a fantastic thing he is as well. There's just no getting away from the fact how quality a figure this is. If you don't have it and you can get it, and you like Marvel Legend figures, uh, you like figures in general, uh, get it, it's fantastic. You won't regret it. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm really trying to improve the uh, figure reviews on here. I need to get something sorted out here so I can show them a bit better, uh, get the camera angle sorted a bit better, and uh, hopefully improve these in the future. But for now, this is how I'm doing them. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Click on your notification bell so you're notified when I release new videos. And most importantly, comment down below what do you think of uh, Thing figure. Will you be getting him? Do you have him already? Any suggestions you have for the uh, for future Marvel Legends figures? Would you like to see more Marvel Legends figures on the channel? Are you a fan? Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.